Lisa's Kitchen. Today I'm completing another viewer request for yet another dessert. Angie asked me to put together a coconut cake. Now this is a traditional southern cake and I'm not a southerner, so I hope I'm doing this cake justice. Let's get started. This is a pretty standard scratch yellow cake recipe, with the notable exception of this cream of coconut, which is not the same as coconut milk. You cannot use them interchangeably. As always, the ingredients list is here, as well as the full recipe and instructions in the description box below. We're going to start by whisking smooth our cream of coconut and adding some of it to the sour cream and extracts. After that, we're going to build our cake using the creaming method. So let's get started. We're mixing a half cup of this cream of coconut in with the sour cream and the extracts. Whisk this until it's smooth and completely combined. I'm spraying the bottom of this cake pan with nonstick spray. Then we need to line the bottoms with parchment paper and spray the parchment paper with nonstick cooking spray too. I'm combining the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. This I'm just going to mix up with the beaters from the hand mixer. I'm creaming this butter first and then I'm going to add the sugar all at once and continue to cream that until it's fluffy. Then I'm adding in the eggs one at a time and I'm beating these thoroughly between each addition. sour cream mixtures alternately starting with the flour and we're doing this in three additions and we just want to make sure that it's mixed until it's just combined and it's not over mixed otherwise this cake can just get tough. this batter between these two pans evenly, then it does need to be smoothed into the pans. This is going in the oven at 350 degrees for roughly 40 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. layers are going onto a cooling rack. Then they're getting brushed with the remaining cream of coconut. Now we are going to use it all and these cake layers are going to be very moist. We're icing this cake with a seven minute frosting, which is essentially a cooked meringue frosting. We'll need two cups of sugar, four egg whites, now this is about 100 grams total, along with two tablespoons of corn syrup, a half cup of water, along with our coconut and vanilla extracts. We're also going to need two and a half cups of shredded sweetened coconut. Now once this is cooked and ready to go, we only have a few minutes to use it because it does start to set up, so make sure that you have everything ready and in place before you put this together. We're going to start by mixing all these ingredients together in a large bowl until they're smooth. on top of a double boiler to be cooked and whipped on high speed until you reach soft peaks. Now that should take between five and seven minutes, but this actually took me closer to eight. Now that this is soft peaks, we're going to take it off the heat and whip it on high until we have stiff peaks and it's a spreadable consistency. cake 
onto a piece of parchment paper because it can be pretty sticky. We do need to put this on the cake plate right side up. first layer with just a little bit of this icing and then press in about a half cup of this shredded coconut. this whole thing iced, we need to cover the whole cake with the shredded coconut. Just carefully press it onto the sides. smelling cake a taste. I know it's very moist. Mm. So sweet. Perfect. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our recipes. Don't forget to like our Facebook page for behind the scenes pics and videos and follow us on Twitter for sneak peeks of upcoming videos and the random cat picture.